Hello Colonists, Outlander here. Glad to be making this video. I've been trying to for over about over a week now. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Um, actually, pretty good reason to that. I had to do a complete hard drive wipe on my computer. Um, that's why it's always important to have multiple backups, including external backups of some sort. Um, so anyway, I had to do that mess, and uh, finally got that done, re-downloaded everything, and uh, yeah, so we are here now. Um, quick notice, if you hear weird sounds in the background, it's probably my pug. I have a five-month-old pug and a cat, and they are always wrestling. Um, I had to give him a bone and shut the door behind me so he's he's on his bone and hopefully that keeps him occupied uh so if you hear weird stuff that's that's probably what it is um so it's been a while um speaking of that wipe on my computer um i did not back up the colonies on uh the videos that i uploaded so those are um uh, more or less gone I have a slight chance in recovering them. I have tried um, with no no luck. Uh, so I'm just going to consider those to be gone for good, which um, actually is good. Uh, this gives me a brand new kind of reset. I'm gonna do the same thing, my colony tutorials. Um, I am recording with OBS, so hopefully I'll be able to include a lot better audio and um, just a lot better uh, uploads um, than I was before. I was just using my general recording device that came with the laptop I was using. So anyway, um, hopefully we hopefully we got that taken care of. Um, so yes, I'm going to restart. Um, I hope that doesn't disheart any of you guys. Um, I do plan on building a more colonies like late game colonies uh showing a lot more videos for like um city management for your regions um rc maps specialized maps we're going to be getting into all that kind of stuff all the late game stuff and a couple new uh new features that have came out since my past uploaded videos um furthermore there has been a recent ish update to my colony and it's for uh gifting resource gifting now i actually support this this is actually a good feature in my opinion um there is a limit on what the sender can send to the person receiving the gifts and that is the whatever the receiver's gift limit is um i do think this is good because uh the major problem with my colony uh the new players they would come in contact with the late game player and that late game player would just send them millions if not billions of resources and really once you do that that might hold your interest for a little while but um it's the grinding of resources and the just the i i can't tell you how many days i just spent building one type of resource up for my production um that's what this game's all about so i think a lot of the, the new players would get all these resources and they would just kind of simply lose interest and i i don't blame them but um so yes the gifting has been nerfed hopefully um hopefully there's not too many problems with that and hopefully people understand why bass did that um so enough talking i'm going to officially restart my tutorials for this game and i'm going to take you back exactly how I did in the first video so if you watch that one um, I ask you please watch this one to the end see what happens or if not go ahead and skip down below um, but yeah so the first part of this will probably be pretty boring we're gonna go over basically just from a new player stance and then we're going to start building the colony again I am going to pick a moon uh, no, sorry, I'm going to pick a Mars planet type, but we're going to build colonies on each planet, 
and we're going to have these colonies go into the late game. And they're all going to be regions, so we have a lot of flexibility with that. Sorry for those single uh, city builder fans out there. Um, maybe I'll do a video in a different series for single build use. Um, highly respect those players because that's, that's definitely hard. But anyway, uh, let's finally get into this. All right, so we're going to go. So this is my colony starting back over just like how you're a new player um, you go to my options click your name up here or it would be a sign in option and then you can sign out manage your account buy the premium yes I got the premium it's I think it's worth it for the five bucks for what you get so you go into more options game data you can back up your game files restore one restore region that's a new feature since my videos also delete files Restore recovery file, save file location. Um, here's your release notes, of course. Um, all kinds of other stuff. Um, this is a cool thing. I, You guys should check that out. Here's your engine settings. Now, if you're a mobile user, I get that. For the first six months I played this game, I was on my phone slash uh, tablet. And uh, it... It was fine. Uh, I just I went in here and I buffed out some settings. Like I turned the lighting effects off, for example. Um, I had my calmness rendering. All the, you can see, I don't have it very high here. But I had I think on mobile, I had my calmness like right at twenty or something. But um, yeah, so we'll just yeah, whatever. That's good enough. Um, Building animations, I had that turned off on mobile. I had a lot of stuff, particle effects. I had a lot of stuff turned off um, just to kind of save my phone from burning up. Uh, also, if you're a brand new player or even a veteran player, I recommend, and it's totally up to you, but I seriously recommend auto save frequency often because all my colony players or the soon to know the new ones will experience a corruption a corrupt file it's gonna happen if you play the game long enough it will happen to you so um, just be prepared is basically what I'm getting at here um, but for the mo uh, mobile players I would definitely recommend try playing it on a computer if you can it is way better for building it it's just it changes the game in my opinion it's very 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 good so we're gonna go to new colony you have your online game multiplayer region local game creative mode this you can build anything everything do whatever you want but it's offline and you're not on the leaderboards same uh, local game um, that's basically you're not in a sand like creative mode is basically a sandbox mode local game is exactly what it is it's a local game you're offline um, but yeah, so I uh, I don't recommend ever playing that. If anymore, if you want to play my colony, I would recommend always playing it online. Um, the online games are what everybody uses. The multiplayer region. See how it says experimental here? That's because that's exactly what it is. I do not recommend playing this at all. I've had a couple multiplayer regions, and cities disappear. Building well, buildings disappear, but whole cities, whole player cities, will just vanish. Um, there's a lot of a lot of bugs to be worked out there. So we're gonna do online game. All right. So um, it's bringing us to our Commonwealth. We can join. Um, let's see who we got here. Old Bob Ross. Okay, try this again here. Not looking for any particular person, just kind of browsing. Um, so let's say David's world. His population is 30,000. His commonwealth population is 30,049. So this is David's population. This is everybody in his commonwealth's population. So he must not, the person in his commonwealth must just be starting off. 
here's his GDP, civilization, what you know, what he is. Um, this is kind of cool, your location. You can look up and actually there's a My Colony Universe map and it shows where everybody is. That's kind of cool. Payroll assistance rate, 145% is what uh, they'll assist you with. Taxation is normal. Um, that's really hard to compete with people like this. 500%, no taxes. That's kind of what my Commonwealth has. Now down all the way at the bottom, um, you'll see these. These guys are the AI controlled ones. Now, whichever Commonwealth with AI or real players, whatever Commonwealth you click, you automatically inherit their civilization. So if you if you click these guys, you're gonna be the reptilians. Uh, if you click these guys, you're gonna be the independent states. Uh, um, LIS is what we call them. Um, I've always I've experimented with a few, but I just like the United Earth better. Let's do a custom charter court. See if I remember that off the top of my head. Looks like I did. Okay, so start a new game with a clone of your charter. We'll import some user generated game data that may not have screen, blah, blah, yeah. Basically saying, are you good with that? All right, so we have Earth-like. It tells you the difficulty. It tells you the descriptions. Red planet, lunar, water world, forest world. So there are different planet types for different civilizations. Um, those uh, for the UE is what I will be come. Uh, these are what's available for the UE. Each civilization has different. Um, planet types and whatnot uh, like if I scroll down here and I'm gonna be the be these guys and I do that see you have sugar land water world abandoned world ice world lava world um, but I'll, I'll be able to show you that later so we'll type in the same charter code And this is actually, uh, that's actually my charter code. All right, let's go to the red planet. Single city, region. We want to click region. I recommend region. Let's see here. We'll go basic. All right, here's our red planet region. So each let's see here you got over here you got your medium city your small city small city is 50 by 50 and you can see uh, that's a hundred and hundred by hundred for medium city and um, a couple players I personally know they have this whole region filled up crazy but um, I used to I started off in the center in my first region and I that was a mistake um, I would recommend starting off maybe one of the corners or even the sides, um, but you know, you do you. Colony name, oh, I don't know, here we go. We're gonna do normal resource levels. It tells you um, who you've founded a new colony with, tip, outlander. Um, so I haven't played starting over since my last YouTube videos, and you could see that I was kind of challenging a little bit. But something that's really cool that almost puts these videos out outside is uh, it comes with actual um, tutorials when you go to do stuff. It's very, very, very cool, and I love it because I didn't used to have that. One second here. All right, so here's your ore, gold, ice, different minerals, diamond, or aluminum. Um, we're gonna click on our guy. We're gonna have him harvest. You can right click this, or you can click this harvest button here. So let's right click it. He's harvesting. You can see we're going up here. All right. 
I'm going to build a small vehicle factory here. And here's your category for all buildings, all vehicles. Um, your different categories for each one. Workers, alien tech, durable goods, entertainment, whatnot. So anyway, we're gonna go to all vehicles, builder builder bot. And then we're gonna build a ore miners. And that's all we can build. Okay. So we're gonna have this guy harvest too. Alright, so if you double click and you hit this group feature button. It groups, it groups them as one. Now I, I know I said um, it has kind of a tutorial now. You're probably wondering where that's at. As you go on and click different stuff, um, tell them to do different things. You'll have little pop-up menus, and um, they're actually quite helpful and pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna have mine here because it, um, it's not a new one. But anyway. Uh, for new players, that's what you'll see, and it's it's really helpful. So this wheel uh, vehicle factory allows me to produce builder bots, and it also produces wheels, which you need for any kind of rover except for the flying ones. So to see what this is producing, you click here, click this chart, it tells you what it consumes, what it produces. You can. Um, Production priority when all other factors are equal structures with higher production priority will get new workers first. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You can adjust your employment capacity. Um, so it tells you 4.76 wheels per minute is what we're producing. We're gonna build another ore miner. Group those guys up. Now these ore miners actually allow us to build ore mines at the cost of 500 ore. But these ore mines give you 10,000 compared to uh, 5,000 that the game generator wants to. So that's a pretty good payoff there, trade off. All right. So now we're going to focus on our buildings. We're going to have our builder bots build some landing pads so we can get people in here quicker. The more you build, the faster they, um, more people come. We're gonna get some food rolling in here. I'll tell him to build that. And one thing that confuses new players too is certain bots can build certain buildings. Like this guy, it shows you everything he can build right here. But a regular, normal builder bot has access to all these. So just keep that in mind. If the building's not showing up, you might not have a resource or um, the bot available for it. So payroll, it's time to pay your workers. Total payroll costs for this period are a whopping $1. Um, because you are part of the Commonwealth Tip Outlander, Outlander will be billed $5 for the portion of the payroll cost. That's because I have it bumped up to 500%. All right, so we paid our workers. It's just some cheap labor. Um, now we need electricity, because we have none. Our buildings are shut down. So let's build a couple of those. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really going for building this um, two of an organized city. That's, that's the beauty of having a regions. Um, as long as your city produces what it needs to, you can always probably make it efficient. There's layouts. You can actually download and upload a layout to this map and build it according to that. Um, but we're just gonna we're just gonna build quick so we can. Actually, I'm gonna have him harvest some water. Can you do that? No. All right. We're just gonna build quick. That way we can get some more content crammed in this one video all right we have 17 wheels we do have we now okay so now we have these landing pads 
this white bar shows when a colonist is coming. I need to build a house. Pronto. We'll build two houses because our limit is two. As you can see right here, capacity is two. Um, population is two, capacity is two, but we have three available jobs. So let's go ahead and build those. Now our capacity went up to five and then now to eight. And then you'll see colonists popping out of there. And then they will automatically go to jobs. Now, um, there is a radius length. Um, it's escaping my mind right now, but there is a certain distance, square distance, that these colonists will go from their homes to work or from their homes to entertainment or medical. Um, I'll try to find that in the video real quick or post it. So we'll just be our little utility shop over here. Now these water pumps are automatic, but they do require power. So we'll just build rows like that. Okay. So that's gonna yield that's gonna take up a lot of ore. So let's build some more ore miners. Okay. Let's group them all. So now we have a total of five. If I can click him. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we have a total of five ore miners, but they're grouped as in one. And that really helps your total optimization with this game for mobile users and whatnot. Um, I mean, even computer users, but... I have this guy. Let's see here. Let's build a raw materials depot. We'll put that guy right here. So this will increase our storage significantly. If we go in here and look, it tells you um, everything it stores, and it tells you the capacity, five thousand. So now. We are max capacity. I want to build a couple more houses, keep them flowing in, because we're going to need people. And this is really, really slow at the beginning. Very slow. Food's looking good. Water's looking do good. You can see the plus 22, plus 12. We're going to amp that up here soon see for so my greenhouses here um, they have one person working that's their max consumes the power produces 2.46 food a minute not very much not at all and also stores a hundred food okay so now that we got some room to breathe show you guys a little little trick for the new players so build an ore mine like that. Oh, my dog is scratching at the door. He must be done with his bone. It's very needy, but he's just a puppy, so. All right, so we're gonna have them build, build those. I'm gonna have him build this one first. So yeah, if you click him and then right click on a structure, you can see the little green line. That's where he'll go. So he's gonna build this one first. And you can see my ore is just draining. And, ooh, just had enough. So I'm actually going to tell him to harvest this one. So now see how he's not moving, but it says he's harvesting. And our ore is shooting up. He's so close to the storage, he doesn't even have to move. He just harvests it. He harvests it from here, drops it off there. Um, you can see down here how much is left. You can see it's not moving, it's because you have to keep clicking it. See how the number's changing? We're at 6,700, 63, 62. So anyway, that's how you get fast ore. Um, look, we're gonna have him build the rest of these here real quick. While that's going on, I'm gonna build a first aid station for my people. Build two of those. We're gonna build some internet. 
booths for entertainment and very low level education. All right, so they're gonna go back and harvest. I got some more wheels. I'm going to build a couple more builder bots. So we can build faster. The more bots you have, faster you can build. You can see how much faster that's moving. All right, so let's go to all buildings here. Let's go to max out uh, get some more storage for my food this is gonna be my utility section here I suppose it's a good idea as early as you can to increase your storage levels um, you can see the colors turning red because I only have 398 out of 3400 this has turned orange and progressively is gonna get red eventually maybe but um, you increase your, if you click this toolbar here, it shows you different layouts for the menu. But anyway, sorry, keep, I keep trying to say one thing and then I get onto something else. Um, it's a good idea to increase your storage levels early on so you can build them up so you're never, ever, ever short. Um, so anyway, now we got people rolling in. I think we're maxed out. Yeah, we are maxed out. We only have five jobs, so we have a lot of unemployment. You go to the settings and you go to statistics overview um, you can see when you founded this how old it is your name you can change your name here um, you can do your flag all types of parts um, go big like that there we go perfect logo let's see here this is just some stupid stuff I'm doing quite a few logos whole alphabet you got here um, but yeah I've seen I've actually seen some really really amazing um, flags from people truly some truly awesome stuff um, but anyway go to your population tells your population it tells you there are age groups demographics humans all that kind of stuff average age go to your government here's your approval rating that's important if it hits too low people will just not work um, right here so we can see um, People don't have a lot of problem with anything except for being uneducated, and that's 100%, which is normal. I would not worry about this too much. I wouldn't worry about it too much early on, especially at this stage in the game. You're not going to be able to fix it right away. Or if you do, um, it doesn't affect you as much right now. Now, here's something a lot of players just, um, I don't know, they just don't discover it I suppose but your encyclopedia is super 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 useful tool um, go to your civilizations you can click on let's click on these guys you can read their backstory um, and then resources right let's say you want to know how to make uranium it comes from uranium deposits uranium enrichment facilities black market online let's say okay I want to build this uranium enrichment facility how do I do it click on the link it tells you how much it costs to make the tech requirement tells you everything it requires it's a very very useful tool vehicles everything buildings that's uh, really important alright but anyway back to the game I'm gonna cut this video off here very soon but we're gonna make some more food That way our food's popping. How's our water doing? Our water's doing all right. Okay. Okay, where's my bot? There he is. Slow, slow guy. All right, let's go to vehicles. I'm actually going to build 
two ore miners and one builder bot. Merge those guys together. I know it's only one, but everyone counts when you're just starting off. So now we have those people working. Um, let's go to all buildings again. Okay, so we got some medical, we got some education and entertainment. Now the next stage, our food will be going up and our water will go will be going up and we have storages for them. The next stage is we're going to build some more small vehicle factories, get our wheel production skyrocketing. Next thing is our ore. We want to turn all this ore that we're making into steel. Now steel is your second resource that you're going to be going after and it unlocks all kinds of buildings for you. So we're going to build it. We'll build it right here. Try to get it in line with this guy. All right, we'll build two for the start. Oop, didn't mean to do that. All right, well, my depth perception is terribly off right now. Okay. All righty. Put a little grid. There we go. We'll we'll make something for the colonists to walk on. That way they think we're a civilized colony. All right. So we're doing good. We got 13k ore. Our wheel production will be shooting up here soon. You can see we still have 20 people and only 11 jobs available. Um, this will change. Uh, don't worry. We'll fill that up. But our food's going up, water's going up, wheels, ore, and we're getting some steel in. Our atmosphere is going up. Um, don't worry about that quite yet. Um, trash is also going up. That can pose a problem later on. But, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. In my main colony, I think I have a billion, billion trash or something. Atmosphere is important for a few technologies. I think it's at... Um, 15 million atmosphere is when it unlocks the last um, I need to word this right 15 million atmosphere is when it unlocks the last tech that is um, Correlated with your atmosphere not the last tech in the game just the last type of tech that involves atmosphere So you do want to shoot to 15 million that seems like a huge number at first, but it's actually super easy to get to I think mine is in the trillions right now so anyways um this is a pretty good start um mars is just like earth it is a way easier to start on if you start on the moon um you gotta do one extra step to get ore you gotta crush some reg and regolith and you gotta convert it to ore so that's one extra step um i sh i do like the moon colonies i will do like i said i will do a uh, startup video on each planet and then I will um, try to get maybe not all the planets to late game but I will have a couple into the late game and I will show you the different different ways to do it and whatnot um, so yeah this is going to be considered my tutorial first video I might leave the other ones up but um, if they cause too much confusion, I'll just delete them because I, I simply don't have the colonies anymore. Um, again, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys understand. I'm, I'm sorry ha I'm restarting here. Um, I don't didn't want to, but kind of had to. So uh, I hope you guys understand and you're okay with that. There will be more videos coming in. Um, I'll try to get to a consistent schedule. Uh, kind of kind of weird I'm working a weird shift but I'll try to stay consistent but without oh we gotta do one thing we gotta do a manual save always do that all right so then return to region I always do that to let it save you can see our one little city here and then we're gonna return to title all right so while that's loading I also 
you you might have seen a tip in the video that is my um, federation in game and it is also one of my discord servers um, you should be seeing a logo now that's my tip logo for my discord um, I will be putting a link in the description for anybody who's not already in it um, here's my discord so we got quite a few guys quite a few gals a lot of people who just love my colony um, it's a really good community very very good community um, another great community would be right here nations of Nas these guys are great people let me tell you what um, so anyway here's the my colony section for them and my last shout out to is air attack um, this guy he's became a friend um, kinda through random circumstances I joined a server that he happened to be in and uh, he helped me out and we found out we had some similar goals for discord servers and whatnot and so I'd love to give him a shout out um, for his server here I'll provide the links down below he also has a YouTube channel that is far better than anything I'm going to upload um, pretty knowledgeable he's building his own bot right now he's in the process of updating it um, he's doing pretty good I just like to give him a shout out so anyway here is another list of my servers um, this one right here Union of Aethax Islands that if you're in my server you know I've been talking about it this is a role-playing server I am in the process of making um, hopefully I'll be going public with that soon but anyway um, appreciate your guys' time and if you like the video leave a like maybe subscribe if you want to watch some more of my colonies want to watch some random guy who doesn't know what he's doing try to record on OBS <laughs> so uh, yeah that's it I'll leave everything in the uh, the links and everything down in the description like I said but this video is over